Imagine a time when aircraft barely left the ground, powered by simple engines that relied on a basic yet brilliant technology, the propeller. Today, we see sleek jets soaring at unimaginable speeds, powered by turbines that generate thousands of pounds of thrust. But how did we get here? It all started with piston engines. These early engines worked much like the internal combustion engines in cars, using cylinders and pistons to create mechanical power. The Wright Brothers Flyer, the world's first successful powered aircraft, relied on this basic concept. Propellers attached to these engines converted the engine's rotational force into thrust, pulling aircraft forward. For decades, this simple design dominated the skies. World War I and II gave rise to powerful aircraft like the Spitfire and the P-51 Mustang, all using propeller-driven piston engines. But as aircraft evolved, they needed to fly faster and higher. Propeller engines began to reach their limits. Enter the turbo engine era. The first major advancement came in the form of the turboprop engine. This was a hybrid solution, still using propellers but powered by a turbine engine instead of pistons. Turboprops became a reliable choice for medium-range flights and cargo planes like the C-130 Hercules. Yet for pure speed and power, turbojets were the real game-changer. By the 1940s, the jet age was dawning. The turbojet engine marked a radical shift. Instead of driving a propeller, these engines took in large amounts of air, compressed it, mixed it with fuel, ignited it, and blasted the exhaust gases out the back, creating massive thrust. The first jet-powered planes like the Boeing 707 and military jets like the MiG-15 flew faster than anyone could have imagined with propellers. But the story doesn't end with turbojets. As jet engines became more advanced, so did the need for efficiency, especially with commercial aviation booming. That's where turbofan engines came in. Unlike pure turbojets, turbofans incorporate a large fan at the front, pushing more air around the engine rather than just through it. This not only increased efficiency but also reduced noise, a huge improvement for passenger comfort. Today, turbofans power nearly every commercial aircraft you see, from the Airbus A320 to the Boeing 747. So how do these turbofan engines work? Imagine an engine where a fan at the front pulls in a large volume of air. Some of that air goes into the core engine where it's compressed, mixed with fuel and ignited producing thrust. But the rest of the air bypasses the core, providing additional thrust in a much more efficient way. This dual action design is what allows modern jets to fly long distances with less fuel. As we look to the future, engine technology is pushing even further. Today, ultra-high bypass turbofans like those on the GE9X are setting new standards for fuel efficiency. And on the horizon, we're seeing the potential for hybrid electric engines, which could significantly reduce emissions, making flying greener than ever before. So, from the humble propeller to cutting-edge turbine engines, aircraft propulsion has come a long way. Each step has brought us faster, safer, and more efficient air travel, and there's no doubt that the future holds even more incredible innovations. What do you think is the most significant advancement in aircraft engines? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into aviation technology. Thanks for watching.